That was your maternal grandmother? My maternal, uh, no, my, my paternal great-grandmother. Paternal great-grandmother. Right, my father's mother's mother. Had you known th that she had been killed there? Uh, I had heard that the Jews in that village were rounded up and shot, but I had never seen actual evidence or her name on a list or exactly how it happened or didn't even know that there would be a spot that you could identify, you know. What's that visit. like to suddenly discover there is a spot on the earth that bears her name and, and is the place where, where, where she died? Well, you know, it's, it's a lot of mixed feelings. Um, you know, when you're trying to look on the bright side, then you're, I, was, I felt lucky that there's a place I can go to pay my respects where I think, you know, throughout all of Belarus, you know, wherever there was a village and there were Jews in it, they were rounded up and shot and there's not always a marker for where that happens. So not everyone gets to even pay their respects or it's like it never happened, yeah. you know. So as hard as this was, and it was hard because I'm not, I'm not good at let's look at the difficult things, you know. Um, but I realized that this is way beyond my discomfort, you know, obviously yeah. what they, how they had to end, you know, meet their end. And that there are still people in the world who don't want to believe that it happened at all. Right. And, uh, and then people, you know, like this, this generation who it's so far removed from it that, you know, wow, I've never even known I could meet anybody who would be connected yeah. to it.